This video will be on the very basics of operational amplifiers. If you are already acquainted with the notation, general concept and basic structure of an open loop amplifier, then this video is most likely not for you. Op amps have many applications. They find use as basic voltage amplifiers, high or low pass filters, comparators, and wave generators. This is an operational amplifier. This particular one is the 741IC chip. The notation for amplifiers looks like this. The two horizontal lines on the left are the voltage inputs. The one on the top is the inverting input. You can recognize this by the minus sign. The one on the bottom is the non-inverting input. This takes the plus sign. The two vertical lines are the voltage rails, and the right horizontal line is the voltage output. The existence of the input-output channels is pretty obvious, but the voltage rails are required because the amplifier needs an external power source to boost the incoming signal. The current arrives at one or two of the inputs. The voltage of this current is boosted by the gain of the amplifier and output through the right line. Before the configurations are explained, it is important to understand the resistances associated with this device. The amplifier's input resistance will ideally be infinite. In practice, however, this is impossible, so it's very, very high. This is so all of the approaching voltage is developed over this resistor. The amplifier wants to take as much voltage from the signal as possible. The output resistance will ideally be zero. However, this is also impossible, so it's generally as low as maybe one or two ohms. This is because we want all the output voltage to be developed over the rest of the circuit and not dissipated by any of the op-amp's internal components. To explain the functionality of the op-amp, we will name the non-inverting input voltage in 1, or V in 1, and we will name the inverting input voltage in 2, or V in 2. The large input resistance sees the voltage difference between the two inputs. The amplifier then increases the voltage by a factor called the gain. The resulting signal emerges at the output. Here is a worked example. Say we are asked to calculate the output voltage of this amplifier given the conditions. In this example, there is a voltage input of 9 and 5 volts at VN1 and VN2 respectively. The open loop gain of the amplifier is 100,000. As demonstrated, the emerging voltage is simply the voltage difference multiplied by the gain, producing an output voltage of 400,000 volts. As you have probably noticed, this is extremely large, hence the majority of the op-amp configurations do not employ open-loop design. This will be demonstrated in later videos.